that part. Okay, no. <laughs> necessary. <laughs> it looks like a mix between a mere can of bottles. <laughs> Yourselves, a lifelong partnership. 
May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire to fulfill every one of your prayers. A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, let mutual love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Justin and Hannah, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly, so I respond, I have. I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to honor and love each other as for as long as you both shall live? If so, respond, I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to love of Christ and His church? If so, respond, I am. I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, you may now declare your consent to God for God and His church. I, Justin, take you, Hannah, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love and honor you all the days of my life. I, Hannah, take you, Justin, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love and to honor you all the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you, for what God has joined, let no one put us under. Lord bless these rings, which you would give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Hannah, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Justin, receive this ring. It's a sign of my love and fidelity. It's a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And for the final blessing, please respond with a fourfold Amen. Our Lord Jesus, who grace the marriage of Cana by his presence, Bless you and your loved ones. Amen. May he who loved the church to the end unceasingly pour his love into your hearts. Amen. May the Lord grant that bearing witness to faith in his resurrection, you may await the joy and the blessed hope to come. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's show us our congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Santa Padre.
was was planned out, very precise. Uh, he's he's very very statistically oriented and enjoys numbers. I had to come up with something. <laughs> so then I then I asked about uh, about Hannah, and I was told that uh, Hannah is so perfect that I can't have anything to fault, and, and I totally agree with that. So. Uh, the point I wanted to make is, you know, those of you that came to the church, or those of you that just looking now, you can see how happy they are, and, and Sharon and I just want to wish you the, the best. Shortly after Hannah and Justin started officially dating, Hannah and I entered the social work program together at Winona State, and we've been nearly inseparable ever since. Because of this, I've been working on this speech for about four years. <laughs> I knew pretty quick into their relationship that they were meant to be each other's forever. Justin and Hannah exude what true love is and what it is to marry your best friend, although I still think that I have the title of best friend. But I digress. <laughs> the way they so innately understand that one another is inspiring, and I hope that everyone in this room and outside this room gets the chance to experience the kind of love that they share. My life changed for the better when Hannah walked in because at the time, Justin and I didn't have the best brotherly relationship. But ever since, Hannah filled him with the love and support that flows out of him now. It's been able to rekindle our relationship to where I'm able to stand up here now today in front of all of you guys. One last toast, uh, because <laughs> I need it. <laughs> to Hannah and Justin. <laughs> Thank you. 